Does your system hiccup during almost every gunfight? Does it cause your Discord to cut out? Does your CPU usage look like this in game and in the menu? Well, there is good news and bad news. The good news is you can switch the bottleneck from the CPU to the GPU, which makes your system much more stable no matter if you have a GPU from NVIDIA or AMD. The bad news is that your frames per second or FPS will decrease as you bring your GPU power below your CPU's capacity. This means that this solution will ultimately lower your maximum FPS, but this will eliminate graphical stutters that you experience during gunfights and possibly even game crashes. Therefore, this will dramatically increase your system stability. This will especially help in Warzone and any other game that you experience 100% CPU utilization. The solution is to upscale your resolution past your monitor's native resolution, in addition to some other tweaks to finally adjust your computer's total resource utilization. Both AMD and Nvidia have this technology to super sample your resolution. I will be demonstrating the Nvidia version because my GPU is from Nvidia, but I will describe the AMD counterpart as well. For reference, I have an i5-6600K paired with a 2080 Ti. As you may have seen from the graph in the intro, this presents a clear bottleneck to my CPU. I will be pushing my GPU up to 100% and pulling my CPU down by around 10% below the GPU. You will see what I mean when I show the summary of all the effects of these settings at the end of this video. First, go to your graphics control panel and enable the upscaling feature. In NVIDIA, this is called DSR, and in AMD, this is called VSR. Enable a higher resolution that is below two times. Enabling it past two times will most likely mess with some elements of UI scaling. So I recommend keeping it between one and two times. My monitor is 1080 pixels horizontal, and setting this multiplier to 1.78 times brings it up to 1440p. If you want to find out what multiplier you need to set for a desired resolution, you just take the larger horizontal squared and divide by the smaller horizontal squared. So then to get 1080p to 1440p, you get 1.78 times. For 1440p to 2160p or 4K, you would do 2160 squared divided by 1440 squared. Then you would set the multiplier to 2.25 times. And I believe if you are using VSR for AMD, then all you must do is set VSR on and all the different resolutions will be available for selection in the game settings. Open the game and select your new super sampling resolution. These steps should cause your GPU usage to bump up. If your CPU is still hitting 100% and your GPU usage is below your CPU usage, then increase your render resolution. By how much you may ask? Well, it is similar to the math behind the multiplier we calculated a few seconds ago. Instead of squaring both the top and bottom, you must divide the two numbers. For example, I want to render at 2160p or 4K from my now super sampled resolution of 1440p. 2160 divided by 1440 is 1 1.5, so 1.5 is 150%. These are all the settings that can push your GPU past your CPU capacity. With these settings, I can get 100% GPU usage and around 85% CPU usage. There is an alternative to using DSR or VSR. You can underclock the GPU using MSI Afterburner to limit its power on purpose. This is very easy compared to the super sampling option. All you must do is press Ctrl F and press L at a frequency you want to lock it at. You should see a vertical dotted line appear. The GPU will not clock past this point. This will keep your GPU very cool, temperature wise, as it is only using a fraction of its power. The problem with this option is that the setting will reset after each boot. You must save this profile and apply it after booting each time. 
Here is a summary of the changes and its impact on resource utilization. For a view on the frame rate after applying these changes, see my previous video. It is a mix of old and new clips. Clips where the frame rate is above 120 frames are when the changes were not made. Otherwise, they are clips using these updated settings. Thanks for watching and make sure to like if this helped you. If not, please comment and I'll try to help you out.